everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Fiona and if you're new here please 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 stay around like comment and subscribe it would mean the world to me so today I'm bringing you guys a haul from lots of different brands I've got Pretty Little Thing I've got Zara I've got um, H&M I've got lots of makeup products to show you which I got all in the sale pretty much so I'm very 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 excited to show you all guys what I have bought so let's kick it off with the one item that I bought from Pretty Little Thing. So if you know me, I love cardigans. Cardigans and coats are my two favourite items of clothing to buy and to wear. So for ages I have wanted to buy a really long, pretty much like comes to your calf, full length cardigan. Um, and they're normally like £40-50 pounds and I don't really want to spend that on a cardigan because who wants to spend that on a cardigan? So, in sale, in Pretty Little Thing, I managed to buy this. It's gonna be really hard to show, as it's full length, as I just said. But here is the cardigan. It is full length. It is a gray knit, which is really nice. The sleeves are like, at the, bottom, at the end like this. So it's kind of a slight balloon sleeve, not really a balloon sleeve, but this was from Pretty Little Thing. It is very nice and cozy. And yes, like I said, it comes down to my calf. I am tall, like I will probably mention in every single video. I'm five foot 10, so it was fairly long for me. Um, but again, I don't know what it will be like on anybody else. So yes, that is the first item that I picked up. So that was the only thing I bought for Pretty Little Thing. Um, I bought one more thing from Zara. My first video, and if you watched that, um, last week's video was a Zara haul. Um, and then I looked on the website again and I saw a few more bits. Um, one was a white wrap top, which was the same as last time, but I'm not showing that because it's literally the same. Um, but this is a pair of trousers. They're a tiny bit see-through which is a little bit of an issue but I really like them so I'm not returning them and my plan is to wear it with say this long cardigan and then never take the cardigan off so then we're fine so they're just a black plain pair of slightly wide legged at the bottom but at the bottom which is exciting I didn't realise they've got little slits in and they're like a nice that you can kind of see that they're you can see they're see through because you can see the label but if you wear a long cardigan or something that covers them, it's fine. Um, but yes, so these are the trousers. So they were literally five pounds, which I think is a really good price. Um, so yeah, they were five pounds and I'm pretty sure the cardigan was 21. The next shop that I'm going to show you the items from is from H&M. H&M, I never used to really like H&M. I didn't like the stuff. I thought it was quite, I don't know. The sizing's weird as well, especially in the shop because it's Swedish the sizing is really weird along with Zara sizing's a bit hit or miss but on their website they have such a bigger range of sizing which I appreciate so all of this is no it's not not all of it's from the sale some of it's from the sale um I did actually order a fluffy cardigan in the sale but I paid for it well I didn't pay for it when it turned up I had a thing that said basically it was out of stock so you've been refunded so that was fun that was only six pounds but you know, we don't have that the first item I'm going to show you is if I can show you it is a pink it doesn't hang on the hanger properly because it's off the shoulder so obviously it doesn't hang properly but it is a pink off the shoulder little jumper and on the sleeves it's cuffed and at the bottom it's got a nice thick cuffed waistband, which I really like. So it just kind of sits off the shoulder like that. This was only six pounds, which again, I think is a really good price. It is a nice inside, it's soft. It's not too soft where you get really hot, but it's a nice soft material. Really, really, really lovely. So yes, I picked that up for six pounds. Just thought, you know, lounging around, it's a nice little outfit. The next item I picked up was a pair of loungewear trousers. I bought a pair similar to this in my Zara haul last week, but these are more fluffy. So they're a grey colour, very, very light grey, wide legged trouser. They've got a thick waistband. What I've actually found out 
due to wearing these trousers and the ones I bought from Zara last week. They, oh, the waistband is thick, however, it does like to fold over under the material, under the fabric, which is kind of annoying because it doesn't really like sit nicely. The next thing I'm going to show you is actually a Kai Ward piece. When I saw this on the website, it was in the new in section and I pretty much fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. It is the perfect colour, it's the perfect style, it's just perfect. I, I couldn't, it wasn't in the sale, it was new in like I just said, but I had to buy it. It is a dusty pink little cord. The top is a wrapped cardigan with a little tie here and it's got really cute sleeves like this. It really reminds me of my ballet cardigan I used to have when I was little. So I love it, I love it, I love it. The camera isn't actually picking up the colour as nice as it is in real life um, but it's a lovely lovely dusty pink colour and I'm really really happy with it. So then to pair with this they also sell the matching trousers which are also beautiful. And they're the same colour obviously and they're again a wide legged trouser with a nice thick waistband. I haven't worn this yet. I really, really want to. Um, but yes, this is this. This was about... The trousers were 20 something. And the top was 20 something. I can't really remember. I'll link everything that I possibly can down below in the description. So that if you want to shop, you can look. The things on H&M, the new and stuff, was selling out quick. Because I'm a member of their thing, I did get early access to their new in stuff. Um, but... It is, I favourited a lot of the things I liked before it came out. And when I went back again, a lot of it had sold out. So hop on there if you want to get it quick. The only slight thing with this that is a little bit annoying, but I can get on with it, is it's not as soft as I like. It is not as soft as these grey trousers. And I suffer with eczema. So things that are itchy don't really go down well. But with a wash, it'll be fine. They're not itchy where they're unbearable, but they're not, there's just, the fibres in them aren't as soft as I wish they were. But I love it so much, I won't take it back. So yes, that is my next thing that I've shown. The last thing I bought from H&M is a coat. I have so many coats. I bought a coat in my last haul. I just love coats so much the coat is this it's a beautiful color i love it it's a beige color it is a suede material faux suede obviously um and it has the beautiful little like sheepskin effect collar and it has the same on the cuffs it's got a lovely lovely zip it's got this kind of fake buckle effect and then when you open it it has got the same inside, so it is lovely and warm, especially for this horrible weather that we're currently having. I'm looking outside my window and it is grey and miserable and raining and no, but this would keep me nice and warm. Maybe not waterproof, obviously, but it is nice and warm. It's perfect for this stupidly cold weather that we're having and it's just so lovely and soft and this was £25. Was it even 25? Was it 15? I feel like it was 15, which is silly because it was cheaper than this loungewear set, which is mental. But it is a lovely, it was either 25 or 15. Um, but again, so, so cheap for a really, really good quality coat. H&M do quite good coats, I think. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is what I ordered from there. The last thing that I bought from H&M was actually from the homeware section. I've never bought anything from H&M Home before, but I've always looked and it's really nice stuff. If you follow Sid and Elle, they're currently moving out and Sid has bought quite a few really, really nice bits um, from the H&M Home section. So, it is a little candle. I love candles. Candles are one of my favourite things. As you can see, I have one burning here. I have them all the time. And... It is just a really, really, really nice smell. It is called the Linen Scented Candle. Can you see? There we go, Linen Scented Candle. 
It says, fills the room with inviting fresh scent of sun dried linen. Use me with care and never leave me alone. But it is a really cute little, I didn't get a massive one because I didn't want to buy one big and I hated the smell. But it's a really cute little dinky size. It's great for putting on a little shelf or somewhere. It's got a really nice cork lid, which I really like actually. But yes, this is a great little, it's a good little gift. It was only three pounds something, I think, which I think for a candle is good. And it's got, an, it's got a really strong scent, but not strong overwhelming. Like you can actually smell it because I hate it when you buy candles and you smell it and you're like, oh, that's a nice smell. But then when it burns, you can't actually smell anything. That's all the clothing part of the video finished so the next thing we're going on to is makeup which is my favorite bit obviously as i am a makeup artist and i'm studying makeup and hair at university so this is the box it's not very big obviously it didn't all come in this one box but i've just put it in this box for the video there is a lot of stuff in here and i think this is everything i've bought there is probably more and I, that i've forgotten about it got to the point where I had so many orders coming that I'd forgotten what I had ordered. And at one point, me and Royal Mail had a little bit of a falling out. And I was due to have parcels. I kept getting texts. Oh, your so-and-so parcel was turning up on today. And it didn't turn up. And then I'd get another text like two days later. It's turning up today. And it never turned up. And then about four or five days later, there was a knock on the door. And I opened the door. And I'm not joking you, every single parcel I probably ordered in this past month all turned up on the same day. There was like a stack of parcels this big outside my front door with then all the letters on the top. It was quite embarrassing, but quite funny at the same time. So, where shall we start? First product I'm showing you is from Benefit. It is a cheek palette called cheek leaders that is a very big mouthful to say it's called pink squad and if you oh let's close the mirror we don't want to see me so this is the palette it is a beautiful palette we have got normal hula bronzer then a darker shade of the bronzer then we've got two a highlighter the dandelion blush and then a kind of blush slash pink highlighter in california oh california so we've got california tickle hula dallas and dandelion i have owned the benefit bronzer for a very long time now by itself and i've always wanted to try the blushes but they're a lot of money i'm not gonna lie they are a lot of money and bronzers i think yes it's worth spending the money on but a blush is a blush at the end of the day but when i saw this palette on sale for 36 pounds now if you put that into perspective a hula bronzer on its own is 27 pounds so for 36 for one two three four, five different and they're full size as well it's really not bad at all and this was over this was on sale and it was on sale again so this is actually over 100 pounds and i've got it for 36 which is good and i have i'm wearing the blush today and i'm wearing the bronzer today and i do love it it is oh, the dandelion blush is such a beautiful it's like a muted pink and it's really pretty and really lovely and i just love it and it comes with a little brush i never use these personally don't really like them but it is a lovely 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 palette the next products i'm going to show you are from the body shop i really really like the body shop i think it's great these actually came from my mum's friend she does she's like a body shop representative so you get them slightly cheaper but i will link them on the website so the first product i have already used quite a lot of and i literally only got it a few days ago it is the hemp hand cream hard working hard protector hand cream i suffer with really quite dry hands and eczema especially in this cold weather and with all the hand sanitizer that we're having to wear so i went into the shop in blue water and was like I need help what can you give me that will help fix my problem and she sold me the hemp cream but I only bought the little one for five pounds um, and I literally use that up within a few days and it did make a difference it did make a massive difference so I bought the big one and if you've got dry hands it is a really good you know natural alternative hand cream 12 pounds for a big it's like the size of my face a bit smaller but 
yeah it is a really 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 good hand cream especially if you have sensitive skin my if i put on a cream and it's the wrong type of cream my skin my hands will go so sore but this i found really really works a treat so i would definitely recommend this product along the same lines in the same collection same range that the body shop does i also purchased the hemp heavy duty body moisturize protector basically body cream i haven't actually tried this yet but it is a it's a big big box so you can see i haven't used it it's a big bottle it's great to moisturize your skin in these colder winter months i will let you know how i get on with it but if it's the same as the hand cream then i'm sure it will go down great third thing from the body shop again no surprise is in the same range but this is the heavy duty face protector i have used this as you can see and it really works a treat especially like i'm going to say in these cold winter months um i take my dogs for walks and before i go out you know my face gets really cold i just slap a bit of this on and it kind of protects my skin from the wind and the cold um and yeah it is a really good product the next brand I'm going to talk about is Morphe. If you've never bought from Morphe, get to know Morphe and buy from Morphe because it is a brilliant, brilliant brand. The first thing I bought from Morphe was a contour stick in the shade Effect, hashtag Effect 11. I have used this once, but that is not enough to fully give it a good review. So it is a contour stick. It's a really nice, you know, muted brown shade if you can see that it they've got lots of different shades for this color it's really blendable really easy really moisturizing and a, quite a nourishing contour stick it doesn't go chalky when you blend it out it is you know it is a good contour stick it's probably a little bit it's not my exact shade i prefer it if it was more dark and less orangey It'll be great for when in the summer when you just want a little bit of a bronze you can just slap this on you don't have to powder you don't have to worry about anything like that if you're ever applying cream products do it before powder do not powder and then put the cream products on because it's just won't work it's a bit of a disaster it will just go cakey and horrible so cream products then powder products the next thing that i bought from morphe are two gel eyeliners they were these were all in sale one is in a gold color if you can see that it's in a really cute gold color bought that because i felt like it and then i bought the same product in a it's a greeny color this is called blend the rules and that gold one is called oh no they're both called blend the rules what are their names oh the gold one's called Bronze Ambition and the green one is called Ivy League. Yes, this green one, I've slightly played around with it, but they are, they're good. They're for graphic liners or anything. You can use this as a base. You could use this as any, just because a product says it's, you know, a lipstick, a blusher, contour, means that you need to use it for that particular, you know, situation. I've currently got Hula Bronzer on my eyes. The next products that I bought are from Lee Stafford. But I bought them on the Boots website. So we have got the Bleach Blonde Ice White Toning Shampoo. As you can see, I am blonde. Um, not naturally blonde either. Well, not as blonde as this naturally. So I use purple shampoo all the time. I This is the first time I've tried this one actually. Before I had the one in the purple bottle, which is this, like, the original um, blonde purple shampoo but my mum also uses it and she's um more of an icy blonde than i am so i thought i'd give this a go it is really good it brightens up your hair especially as the hairdresser's shut and my roots are coming through and i can't get them done but we'll just ignore that but yes this is a brilliant shampoo definitely recommend it is the best purple shampoo that i've ever used in my life and i've tried a fair few it actually you know when you a lot of purple shampoos don't really soap up properly whereas this does that very well and it doesn't dry your hair out which is also what i found purple shampoos to do but this doesn't the next thing i bought from lee stafford is a heat protect shine mist as you can see there this 
I tried this yesterday when I washed my hair and it is very good it leaves your hair really silky smooth it's really nice and obviously it protects your hair from the heat from the hairdryer so yes I would definitely recommend this too another hair product that I picked up was also from the Boots website it is the Tony and Guy sea salt spray for your hair for beachy looks defines and texturized natural waves I have never owned a sea salt spray before it was only £2.50 because it's a travel size bottle um, but I didn't want to buy a full size bottle if I didn't like the product. Um, top tip there, always buy a travel size if you don't know how you feel about the product or get a free sample. So yes, this is a texturising spray, sea salt spray. When I do beachy waves, I'm going to give this a go. Also, it's great to put in my makeup kit for hair. You know, where it's so little, it just fits in very nicely. Two other products that I bought, which are more drugstore products, which is... The last products that I'm going to show which are drugstore range, the rest now all go to high-end range. Um, so the first one, I've seen this all over TikTok um, and I thought, well, we might as well give it a go. So it is the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara. I've seen people try this and they're like, I don't have any eyelashes and now look, I've got loads. I did try it yesterday. Wasn't blown away by it. Thought it was quite clumpy and chunky but I never like mascaras when they first are fresh I like them to you know develop a little bit um, and then I feel like you really get the proper use out of the mascara the second thing that I bought was a color lash clear mascara but I use it as a brow gel I bought two of these they're literally two pounds something each so they're really really good value cheaper than buying a brow gel as well so they are the two drugstore products that I picked up. I apologise if the camera angle has just moved. I left my straighteners on and they were currently melting my cup. So I had to get up and sort that out. The next product that I'm showing you, I have wanted for a really, really long time. And we got a student loan in recently and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to buy it. Is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder that I've just dropped on the floor. I have heard nothing but good reviews about this powder. I have never heard anything bad. All the girls at my uni rave about it. They say it's the best powder they've ever used. It doesn't flash back. It doesn't do everything. And yes, it is the best powder I've ever used in my life. Yes, it is 32 pounds or 35, 32 pounds. And for a bloody powder is, you know, not cheap and slightest when I have literally have a revolution powder sat on my dressing table, which probably cost me under five pounds. But this has changed my life. It is in the most beautiful packaging, if you can even see, I have ever seen. It's a lovely box. The bottom is like a matte sheer thing. I don't even know how to describe it. The lid is great. Just the product is great. You open it up and it's got the little, you know, the little marks, the little holes in there. The powder comes through. Yes, it's £32. Would I buy it again? Yes. Do I want this to ever run out? No. Would I recommend it? Yes. But I have oily to combination skin so I powder every day if you have dry skin no I wouldn't say spend 32 pound on a powder but I powder every day and I can't live without powdering so buy it it's a great investment piece the next products that I'm going to show you are from NARS now I've never ordered it well I've only ever owned one NARS product in my life and I bought it when I went on a family holiday in 2014 to America. It was the lip gloss in the shade Orgasm. And my mum pretty much stole most of it. And yeah, so that's what happened to that. And this year on my uni course, for this unit, I am currently researching the brand NARS. So I pretty much know everything there is to know about NARS. And I thought, hmm. I'm doing all this research and products and I don't actually own a NARS, you know, product. So, in sale, 
I bought this little mini, it was in the Christmas sale, so this is why it's like a red packaging. Fun fact, NARS only do limited edition packaging for collections, they don't use their normal packaging. Um, but yes, this is a mini orgasm lip and highlighter duo. So it is in this really cute packaging, and then you open the box, and inside are the smallest products I've ever seen in my life. So this is the lipstick. It is absolutely tiny, so tiny. Open the lid and the most tiniest lipstick you will ever have seen will appear. It is very cute and it is a really nice lipstick. I won't really say it's a lipstick, I'd say it's more of a, a lip sheen, shall we say. So I got that and then I also got the highlighter, which is this gold, really pretty gold. I've got that on today and they're really good, really, really good products. Really like them, really rate them. Love the NARS packaging. I then went and picked up a foundation. Here is the foundation in the NARS packaging. It is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've heard people rave over this and say it's their best, it's their ride or die foundation. My ride or die foundation is the MAC Face and Body. And people compare this to this. So I thought, fine, I'll buy this. It's along the same lines. Mm, don't think it is. I paid £35 for this foundation, which is more than the MAC foundation. It is in, I'm very pale, so it is in the palest shade you can get in the shade Siberia, right. I tried it. Yes, my skin is playing up a little bit at the moment, so... I wouldn't say that I could use it at the full, you know, potential. However, I didn't, I didn't love it. I thought I'd put it on and I'd fall in love all over again like I did with Mac Face and Body. But I didn't. I really didn't. I feel like maybe if I mix this with a bit of Face and Body, then I'd like it more. But it is nowhere near as dewy as Face and Body. I'll see how it goes. I do like it, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't spend £35 on this again unless something drastic changes and I suddenly fall in love with it. I will still choose to buy MAC Face and Body over and over and over again. However, shade range NARS, great. Shade range on the MAC Face and Body, not so great. Their lightest face and body shade is C1 and N1. Well, that's not light enough. If you put this on your hand swatch next to Mac Face and Body. Mac Face and Body is like 10 times darker than this. And I'm pale. So if there's people paler than me, you can't buy Mac Face and Body. You'll have to buy another foundation which you can lighten it up with because no, it just won't work. But I don't hate it, but I don't love it yet. I feel like it needs to grow on me. But I will update you. I'll probably do a tutorial at some point with this foundation to see how I get on again when my skin is a bit better but if you had dry skin like dry dry skin I don't think it will work because this is a different bottle to another one so I don't know if the other foundation is different the shorter smaller bottle this does come with a pump which is good the shortest I feel like this is this is more like studio fix but not, it's, it's in between. So you have Studio Fix, which is really full coverage, smells like paint stripper, I don't like. Then you'll have this, NARS Sheer Glow. No, it's not NARS Sheer Glow, NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. Sheer Glow is the other one. Maybe that one's the one that's more like face and body. And then you have face and body. This is in the middle. I wouldn't say that it's as good as face and body, but it's better than Studio Fix, if you get what I mean. But I need to stop ranting about this foundation now. The next products that I purchased were from Fenty. They were on Boots sale. Um, I already own the Gloss Bomb Fenty Lip Gloss and I love it. So this is the little box that came in. If I can get it out. It came with this little lip gloss in the shade Unbutton. I've tried it. I like it. This is a really pinky nude, um, really, really nude lip gloss. I like it. It is great. The packaging is beautiful and it is a really, really nice lip gloss. Also, which came in this little gift set is the Fenty Beauty 
kilowatt highlighter duo personally i'd say the matte highlighter is more a blush so it's a it is a pinky pinky blush color as a highlighter i would probably use them as blushes because i have tried the fenty lip the fenty normal highlighters and they're really nice it's really pigmented really lovely i really like the shades really nice like the packaging little plastic thing the next things i bought were from mac in the sale first thing was the samantha chapman sam chapman who is part of the real she owns with her sister the real techniques you know makeup brush brand if you don't know who she is so it came in this really cute packaging with her name down the side this was on the sale this was like seven pounds which for a mac lipstick is a joke it's a little gold bullet it's really cute um it says mac on it obviously and it is a red this doesn't actually come out as red as it does look on picture and on in the actual lipstick when you put it on it is def it has definitely got oh, i don't know if the camera could pick it up it's definitely got pinky undertones to it it doesn't have as much red tones as I would like it to have. It's not as nowhere. If you know, like the red of Ruby Woo from Mac, that is a like a red red. I was kind of hoping it was going to be like a sheen version of Ruby Woo because Mac Ruby Woo is like Mac Mac, but it's not. I like it. You know, it's a good product. The next thing I picked up from Mac was a eyeshadow palette. I have never owned an eyeshadow palette from Mac. People don't rate them because they say they're not that pigmented. So, you know, I'll give it a go. It's part of a collection. I think it's a Japanese collection. I didn't even really realise that until it turned up. I just saw it was in the sale, so I picked it up. And they're really beautiful colours. So, packaging has this person on the front. I don't know who that is. You open it up and here are the colours. It is a really nice, really nice little quad colour. The last brand that I bought from was Pat McGrath Labs. Again, there has been an issue with this delivery. I am missing a lipstick, which I'm not very happy about. I ordered three lipsticks and a lip gloss. One of the lipsticks has not arrived. And it said that in, on my shipping email that it was there. And I ordered three lipsticks and a lip gloss and one has not arrived. And I got charged for the missing lipstick. So I've emailed customer services and hopefully they answer me with explaining where the hell my lip gloss is. I've never bought anything from Pat McGrath before because of the price. Her stuff is extortionate. Like, it's so expensive and I don't understand why it's so expensive. So these were all in the sale the lipsticks were down to £12 and they're normally £38, £35, £38 for a lipstick is so expensive. Considering, this is like high end, considering max lipsticks are £17, I remember when they were 12 So this is a little packaging. They come, I was really confused as to how this opened when it turned up. So you have the packet. I tried to open it from here, that's wrong. So it's got this little, you know, thing here. You untwist it, untwist it, you know, open it out. And here comes the lipstick. So this is in the shade. What one's this? Candy Flip. It is a really nice packaging. A fan of the packaging. Open it. Here is the lipstick. It looks incredible. Like, if you just see, let me get rid of the it's like, there's not like a single, I don't know. It just looks photoshopped, which sounds weird, but it does. And I tried this this morning. It is a, you know, more of a pinky pink, more verging on corally hot pink, liked that. Nice. The next one is Fembot. I think this is actually for my mum, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Again, cute, cool packaging. I don't know, depending on the finish of the lipstick, if the packaging is different. So this is, yes, in Fembot. 
This is a much more of a nudie pink. It doesn't look it. But the one thing I have noticed is that the lip stick, when it actually goes on, is not the same colour. And the lip gloss that I picked up, where's the box? Is here. I actually have it on right now. It is called Lust Gloss Flesh Fantasy. Bit of a mouthful. It's got a nice applicator. Yep, yeah, I like it. It's a nice colour. Would I buy it full price? No. Would I buy it on sale? Yes. So that is everything in today's video. My next video is I have no idea. I will probably do a I might do a tutorial um, with, I might do a tutorial of all the products I've shown today, if that's of any interest. Um, write in the comments below what type of videos you'd like me to film. I'm going to do some hairstyling ones. I have curtain bangs, but right now they're kind of not really, you know, being my friend. So I'll show you, I could do a tutorial on that. I could do, you know, there'll probably be some more hauls coming. Um, but yes, that is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I really appreciate it. Please give it a little like, subscribe. It would absolutely mean the world to me. Um, so, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, hope you tune in next week. Um, I will link my everything that I've bought below in the description. I will also link my Instagram, or I'll try and be fancy and put it on the screen. Probably won't work. But my Instagram is Fiona Gentry underscore makeup. Please, please go and give it a follow. I post lots of different looks on there. I also post all the work that I do for uni. Um, so, yes, thank you so, so much for watching. I um, hope to see you again soon. See you later. Bye.